Orbital versus Sheet Sander Two of the most commonly used types of sander are the random orbital sander and the sheet sander. To learn more let's dive into the video. Number 1. Orbital Sander The orbital sander comprises a telltale square foot which means it can easily go up against edges and into corners. It's often regarded as a quarter sheet sander because of its square foot, which fits a quarter of a 9x11 sheet of sandpaper. There are also half sheet sanders for different purposes. Orbital sanders are typically priced at $30 to $40. The sanding action is primarily done as the foot vibrates rigorously in small orbits or circles, although you must take good care and be cautious while sanding across the grain because of the pattern. Pros, first things first, the most appealing characteristic that the orbital sander boasts is that it's square. This permits it to operate in corners and against edges. You can easily use regular sandpaper cut for fitting in it instead of separately made sanding discs. The orbital sander leaves very few cross-grain marks, so you don't have to stress over ruining your work much, because it won't be, unless you're that bad. When to use, go for orbital sanders in areas where a sheet sander would not fit, and where you need very light sanding. If you want to prepare a surface you want to paint or seal, or even knock down an entire layer of paint, it's the tool you're looking for. Number 2. Sheet Sander. Finish work. You can guess it from the name already. This is what sheet sanders, or sometimes called finish sanders, are used for. Compared to orbital sanders, sheet sanders are of less power, but are of great use when you're applying that finish, that final step of preparation before you use paint, stain, or lacquer. They generally use a quarter of a standard 9x11 sheet of sandpaper and thus, many know them as palm sanders or more accurately, one-fourth sheet pad sanders. Usually priced at $50, they are square-shaped just like orbital sanders. Pros, sheet sanders are available widely and are undoubtedly your go-to option for any sort of finish work. They're affordable and can work right into those 90-degree angle edges that make them very handy. They also don't leave that many visible marks as orbital sanders do. When to use, smaller projects are where sheet sanders excel. For small DIY projects, they're the perfect fit because of their lightweight and affordability. In the end, you're the one to decide which one you'll choose amongst the two sanders we've discussed. Renovating your home and having a huge load of incomplete work? Is your hobby making furniture from scratch? Removing paint or varnishing? If that's it, go for an orbital sander because it provides the power, speed and flexibility you'll need for your projects. 